been a while. <laughs> I can see myself though. You can't see yourself. Oh, like a like a little screen thing. Mm-hmm. Mine is nasty. <laughs> see, if you wouldn't have turned the screen, you would have known. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> oh, like the movie. <laughs> did you have nightmares? No. I did. You did. I had nightmares. So yesterday we watched this movie called uh, Mid, like Midsummer or something like that. Oh, Mi- Midsommar. We only do this every 90 years. And it's like a two hours and a half movie. <laughs> and it's trippy. It was a weird movie. It's a weird movie. It's a horror film. I told Kevin we don't watch horror films. He thinks it's the same things as a scary movie and it's... N- not i don't know the difference yeah blood more ugh. yeah and, and then, then scary, scary is like huh? ghost what <laughs> <laughs> you know so we went to sleep right and um and i was i mean i was trying not to think about it you know but i fell asleep thinking about it you did well not too much i woke up and next thing I know, I see like a snake on top of you, and then it goes away. Like it just went, pfft. and I was like, I was like, nah, it's not real. And I was like, <laughs> that's your reaction. <gasps> <laughs> that's your reaction. If I had a snake on top of me, it wasn't it, because I did. Cool. I knew. I knew Thanks. it was. I know it wasn't real. Like it was like my dream, you know. Because I woke up thinking like, oh my god, like. It was a huge snake. I was trying to control myself, thinking, like, it's a dream. It's a dream. You know, it's okay. I feel like that's going to backfire one day. Yeah, he'll, like, see something that's not there. So he'll, like, wake up startled. And then he'll be like, oh, my God, do you see that spider right there? It's on the ceiling. Do you see it? Do you see it? There's a bunch of them. And I'm just like. (laughs) I was like, no, there's not. So, yeah. (sighs) So that was last night. Anyways. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the In Therapy Podcast here with Mr. Reyes and... Resilient. Ah. What happened? There. So this weekend I did a, uh, an outer sleeve with the uh, theme of Star Wars. I can't say that. Like, I'm trying to... Star? Star. Wars. Wars. Mm-hmm. Star Wars. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> if I just separate the, the two words, I can say it now. Mm-hmm. They're two different words. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. Star Wars. <laughs> Not see <laughs> <laughs> Wars. Wars? Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. I was like Wars. Say Starburst. Star Star Wars. Star <laughs> Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> I said it right the first time, huh? Well I the think second so. time. Star st- <laughs> <laughs> you went star, really bad. Star. <laughs> star. Star. Star Wars. <laughs> I wonder how people in Mexico say it. It's star Wars. It's star Wars. And the project took about 12 plus 12 plus, let's see, the second day was the 12 a 11. <laughs> 10 hours? <laughs> 10 hours? <laughs> no, 22 hours. What was your favorite part of that piece? My favorite part of that piece, other than you being gone for those hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite part, even though the red is like really vibrant, mm-hmm. the blue on the mask is like really cool. Oh. And I don't think I've seen you do something like that. Mm-hmm. So seeing all the blues go from like the blue on the mask to like the bluish grayish on the background. I think mm-hmm. that really looks really, really cool. Yeah. So I think that's probably probably my favorite. Sick. Mm-hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. I th- uh, for me, I think my favorite part has to be the background. The it's bottom like a, or the top? The both. Oh, okay. Um, because I feel like the background on the top and the background on the bottom they match, and it's like a turquoise kind of greenish gray. Mm-hmm. And I like the way I navigate it from like dark to light to super bright yeah. to make it stand out i think that's my favorite part because i have never used those colors before mm-hmm. i don't think i would do cover-ups with color though i'm not there yet 
Okay. I'm not there. But I would have known you'd be doing a bunch of colored pieces. Right? So after that many hours, uh, my shoulder was killing me, like, really bad mm-hmm. towards the end. Like, after hours and hours of, like, being in the same position and reaching for his thigh, I felt, like, my shoulder <laughs> right here getting numb for some reason. It was giving me, like, a tingly feeling. It was such a weird feeling that every time I would stretch, it would, like, get numb, tingly, and it would, like, travel to my neck. Oh, my god! So gosh. I had to stretch every now and then. And I was like, oh, my God, like, that's killing me. And I I think the reason why I felt that is when I was tattooing the back of his thigh. Mm-hmm. But he was already hurting from that position. So I had to compromise my 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 position mm-hmm. so he can be comfortable because he was already in pain. Yeah. At that point, it had been like 20 hours or 19 hours later. Wow. So I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll just twist my body sideways mm-hmm. to reach that, that part of the thigh so I can let him rest. But that me being there for two to three hours kill me yeah i was like oh the good thing is it was, it was towards the end he was not complaining though mm-hmm. but i could tell he was hurting i was yeah. like bro i got you let me, let me just reposition your body what's the most painful the most uncomfortable position you've had to be in for like a, a piece mm. i think it's always the center of a, of the chest like if i'm doing a full chest piece yeah anything that's that runs through the middle of the torso uh-huh. sucks for me why i don't know for for uh, other artists but for me sucks because i have to uh uh my arms are floating on top of his body mm-hmm. then my body has to do like a little whoop whoop <laughs> you know what i mean i have to be like this uh-huh. to reach the center so i can reach like a certain detail on it what if you get like a floating shelf like those tables and you lay on top of it and you're just like this. So, yeah, yeah. Like, like a bed me- for me. <laughs> God damn. That could be. That would be actually a lot more comfortable. That I could have just be. solved your most uncomfortable <laughs> thing and you're just laughing at it. So. Hey, could be a, a million dollar invention. If an artist tries it, let me know because he's just laughing at it. Next, let's go to the segment of uh, the tattoo nightmare of the week. So this is the tattoo nightmare of the week. So I got a tattoo yesterday and it's awful. My friend had an appointment yesterday with this artist and hers came out good. So I was like, okay, well I'm gonna do a get what you get. And as you can see on my last video, I got Shrek, but I respun and I got a knife and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I got my money back, so that's not the problem. I messaged the shop owner instead of the artist because I knew that it was gonna be kind of, you know, weird. So little did I know is that if you're an apprentice, which she was, is that you are not supposed to work on hands. You were only supposed to work on arms and legs. And there was nobody else in the shop. She was the only one there and she did my fucking hand. And here's another picture for shits and giggles. The knife is backwards. Why is the blade pointing that way and not this way? What? Wait, what did she say? She said that she she did something and she first had gotten Shrek and then she got a knife. Yeah, I didn't get that part either. I'm going to get a get what you get. I'm is it getting. like a... Oh, it's it's one of those. It, I seen people have this at their shop. It's like a little vending machine or like a little coin thing, uh-huh. and then whatever design that gives you, you get it done. <sighs> There's a couple of shops in Arizona here that have that too. Really? Mm-hmm. When it comes down to apprentices, mm-hmm. it all depends on the on the mentor. Mm-hmm. He says, "Okay, you're ready. You know to yeah. tattoo uh, certain things. So anything that the apprentice wants to tattoo, you have to run it by." the mentor okay. and so he decides if you're ready or not mm-hmm. uh in this case i'm pretty sure that the mentor was like no nah, you're not ready to tattoo hands you know because hands are tricky if you don't know how to pack in the lines or how to pull a good line it's gonna fade away mm-hmm. so for um going to just getting whatever get what you get and you get a knife and you just be that size and you just be <laughs> cool with it let's do it damn man you are a different kind of 
down. <laughs> I was saving this for next week, but I'll give it to you now. I trusted you. Fuck. <laughs> Why did he make it an eye? <laughs> CIA humble. <laughs> oh, Dane, talking. that dude did that on purpose. I trusted you. I trusted you. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. How does that happen? Okay, look, look at look at the the different uh, thickness of the of the letters. Uh -huh. You can tell that he didn't know how to pack in the the clean lines mm -hmm. so he was going over the lines over and over and over until yeah it, it looks like look. he went like embedded the skin yeah. like a lot yes like it looks like he did it with the paper clip oh you yes. know how people used to tattoo like that mm -hmm. dark enough oh my god <laughs> look at how swollen it is kaden <laughs> kaden you done fucked up oh what were you thinking kaden all right i'll give you one more <laughs> i'll give you three one <laughs> Okay. <laughs> There's like chips. <laughs> Some chips oh. and salsa on the side. Oh my god, what are they doing? What <laughs> What are they're at a restaurant it looked like a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Dang, I don't know what I would say if I was their waitress and I just come <laughs> off, drop off the bill, leave, and this motherfucker's tattooing on the table. <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on a serious note, because it is a little funny, you know, but on a serious note, that's very unsanitary. Oh, well, damn, yeah. I think, we, I think we left sanitary a long time ago when that guy wiped that tattoo with his shirt. Not, not, just, not just on him. But Look after the they leave, they don't know how to sterilize the table after that. Mm. Blood is is just dropping on the table. He's not using gloves. What is he getting? The the arm is right on the table. It's maybe a, a a a drop of blood is gonna land on one of those plates, which they're just gonna take it back to clean it. The artist grabs a chip. You take his tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need to be inspired. <laughs> <Honestly>. <laughs> he's definitely not an artist at all because he's not using gloves. <laughs> I was like <laughs> if he was using gloves, let me tell you, there's a possibility. <laughs> Just play it. Oh uh, no. I wouldn't be surprised if that dude's an artist. Damn, that's the sad part. He could be an artist, mm -hmm. you know? I don't think I've ever gotten... I mean, for me, the weirdest place I've gotten tattooed has to be in my bedroom by myself. Mm. That's That has to be the weirdest place. <sighs> so let me know what has been the weirdest place that you have gotten tattooed. Um, I really hope you guys don't have whole really bad stories about that. Drop the juice. <laughs> and thank you for joining us back at ink therapy we will be doing artist spotlight of the week <laughs> that was super good <laughs> jesus i'm gonna have you do every segment now. <laughs> oh so i found this artist um his style is super different okay and i was like oh okay uh it's been getting shared on a few pages mm -hmm. so it caught my attention oh. and the colors that they use are crazy so his name is gino tattoo from milan 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 wow super cool piece okay full back piece you ready boom <gasps> oh my gosh that looks so sick huh that is insane. Looks beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. Oh my gosh. The colors, the mm -hmm. shapes. <gasps> oh. The yellow. It's insane. To pack in yellow like that. Oh my God. His pieces are so different. Right? I think that's why it caught, it caught my attention because it is something that we don't see on a daily basis. What would this style be called? Damn, I don't know. Maybe like 
between traditional, neo-traditional Japanese. Wow, very talented, Mr. Gino. That is crazy. Yes, and I think that's one thing that um, can make an artist stand out. You know, providing something that you don't see on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes you stand out as an artist, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and Because you'll find like-minded people who like what you're putting out there. Mm -hmm. And maybe some people find his page and they're like, I didn't even know I wanted that style mm -hmm. until I, I saw your work, you know? Yeah. Which... I didn't know I wanted my butt cheeks tattooed until now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure it didn't even went that far. Uh -huh. You know, maybe the client came in and she was like, I want my back piece. And then he put something together and he was like, what if, <laughs> 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 you know, let's tattoo them butt cheeks and it's going to complete the piece, you know? And then butt cheeks are hard, right? Butt cheeks are hard. It's too much. You know, you got to stretch, pack in. <laughs> stretch and <laughs> pack it <laughs> <laughs> i'm not a fan i'm not a fan of butt cheeks uh i don't you know what not what you said last night uh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> can we get back to the podcast i guess <laughs> and i like how he put like the little like jam looking like right above the butt crack Yeah. Because that gives it flow to it the whole thing. It gives it a shape. It gives it a yes. form. Um, I It's very, um, what is it called? Very, there's a word for it. Unique. Um, original. Not unique. It's not not like that. It's very Symmetric flattering. Oh. It's very flattering That's for her word. body because it's kind of like shaping the body, giving the bust look, and it's it looks... <laughs> and thank you so much for joining us today for artist spotlight of the week gino you did an amazing job we will see you guys soon congratulations gino tattoo <laughs> <laughs> i thought i was closing it out oh, oh fuck <laughs> that's what you get that's what you get yo. <laughs> that, is what, that is what you get <laughs>
<laughs> he sent a video of what he has. That's intense. He wants a full sleeve? Okay. I'll take it. Inside left arm, left forearm would like to get a Mayan woman warrior face portrait to cover the inside, the entire inside of my left forearm. Oh, I'm going to pass. The concept with a female face covering up that line work is going to show right through. It says a Roman style or Renaissance on sleeve, but I just want to know first how much. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass. Um, okay. Statues, Greek mythology. Tattoo is right arm from top of shoulder to mid bicep. Cover up would be a black and gray portrait of my mom. If colors of original tattoo won't work with cover up image, then I'll get the original lasered. Def it's a it's a family portrait too. Mm -hmm. huh? uh, I'm gonna pass. It's this. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's definitely super complicated to cover up uh, a piece with. A family portrait i have more on my arm that i want to cover up i got all of my arm tattoos young and got them impulsively this picture is just some of it i have six orchids on my upper arm that i also want to cover up i like a large scale piece on my entire arm that incorporates my heritage this would be seriously awesome to have the opportunity as i am sometimes embarrassed to wear shirts that show my arm so this is what the person has Ooh, yeah, i'll take really it that is that one's dope Jesus Christ on my right arm shoulder. Um, I'm going to pass. Hi, Mr. Riz. I have an L.A. inspired half sleeve on my left arm. I have L.A. fingers in the middle of my arm with the words city of Lo Los Angeles. I just want to cover it. I'm open to any ideas. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. it. Says I want to get a full back piece done on an Aztec female warrior being the center of the piece and also including I'll take it. I will take it. Oh! I am really looking for a realistic half sleeve of the Virgin Mary, but not like statue, more like the Virgin Virgin de Guadalupe cloak. I'll take it. Give it a twist. Goodness, you're really just going for it, huh? <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. That's a lot of people we chose today. <laughs> yeah, you said yes a lot. <laughs> That was you were some a yes good man today. That was, yeah. That was a lot of good ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.